Uh, he, he took a charge. Obviously, the charge wasn't called, but uh, tried to brace himself, you know, came back on that wrist, played the rest of the game. Um, so I didn't think it was significant, but uh, uh, he'll be out for the next two games at least and then uh, get reevaluated and hopefully we'll get some good news back. Has he uh, had an x-ray or anything like that to confirm his severity? Uh, I think uh, he's, he's had some tests. I don't know which ones. Um, I still think they're uh, going through that to see what the next step will be. Well, it does change it a bit. I mean, we've been without Brad a few times this year and, you know, everyone has kind of stepped up. You know, the messaging to the group this morning was, you know, we need everybody. Uh, we don't necessarily need um, more. It just, uh, we, need, we need everyone as a collective you know, to, to kind of band together and, and pull in unison. And I think we've shown that, you know, whether we're down Spencer, whether we're without Brad, or the, the COVID games when we only had eight bodies, um, we, we found a way. So it's uh, another opportunity for guys to step into a, maybe a bigger role, but it doesn't change how we approach. Well, just the extent, if any, Well, potentially. I mean, I think it's you know somewhat circumstantial. You know, depending on who's out there, the matchup. Um, you know, his position being more four three, I think, gives him the advantage to do that. Um, doesn't take. You know, it's it's easier probably to guard when he's more in that three spot. But we've seen him, Kuz. You know, both guys kind of step into that role and help facilitate, uh, keep us organized. But uh, uh, certainly an opportunity. Everybody else practice this. Yes. Well, I mean, it's a it's a process, but it's, it's ongoing. Um, you can't think, all right, we're just going to meet, clean up the film, you know, talk about it. The guys can air some grievances or some concerns, and then you just move on. I think you have to continue to have those discussions, uh, continue to have that open forum where guys feel comfortable. You know, things aren't going for them individually, or there's, there's something schematically that's not working. Let's pinpoint it and let's fix it. Obviously, no team has everything that you need, but based on the players that you do have, is there, is there an area that you're, you're pretty confident will get better over time just because the guys that you have to go get the people? Well, yeah, we've seen it. <laughs> it's just more the, you know, the do so with consistency. That's kind of been an ongoing theme. Um, I don't think there's any area where we say, hey, we're really lacking in this. Uh, you know, the chemistry, I think, is, is something that we have to continue to hammer on. We've seen it, you know, that ball moves and guys are playing for each other. At times, we start to stagnate. So just trying to minimize those lulls as much as we can. When you look ahead to uh, the big games and also the huge challenge of playing against the Giannis and the Giannis, uh, what's going to be important to them? Well, you know, they're both unique in their own way. Um, we played Philly pretty well. And, you know, obviously getting the ball in beats hands is going to be difficult to do. He's, he's playing at an elite level. Um, and, and Giannis, you know, somewhat like, uh, you know, Ja, his ability to get to the paint, get to the line. Um, we have to make sure we, we take care of the paint first. What would you think would, would be your team's performance in the November 7th game over the well, you know, it was unique because we did some things differently, um, you know, defensively at that time, um, and, it, and it worked well for us. Uh, we'll try to replicate that some tomorrow. But, uh, you know, I thought Denny did a terrific job. Kyle did a terrific job. You know, it was, it was a collaborative effort, but those guys kind of spearheaded the, the charge when it came to guarding Giannis. Uh, and, and that's not a one-man cover. He's got to see, see crowds all night. He's too good. He's too long and athletic. Um, and, and we've seen his ability to, whether it's in transition or top of the floor ISO, get into the paint and wreak havoc. Thanks for Kyle. Uh, how did his role change over the course of the season or, or maybe some of the uh, opportunities for him to change things? Yeah, I think the um, we've seen him do more, um, obviously, with, with guys that have been out. Um, you know, his ability to play make has been showcased, rebound and, and, and push, playing the open floor. Um, I don't think any of that changes. And just I think with guys out, he gets more opportunity to do that. 
Well, we showed quite a bit of good too. You know, I think it's it's easy to kind of keep hammering on. Hey, we didn't do this. We, we need to do this better. Um, show the good possessions. You know, even even if it is a bad loss, I think the messaging can get lost at times, and, and guys get deflated if it's always just negative. Uh, yeah, we show bad clips. Things you know we, we talked about doing, and we didn't do um, the rebounding, some of the turnovers in our spacing. Uh, you know, some of the issues with our communication, but also, hey, here's when we did it right. So can we do this more often and, and, and try to, you know, limit the possessions where we, we fall into these areas? Um, so I think it was, it was good. It wasn't much. It was like 10 clips on offense, 10 clips on defense. Um, you know, quick hit. Let's, let's, gotta get, let's get on the floor and get some things done. You mentioned earlier about the hammering on chemistry and ball movement. Um, how, how do you kind of get that message across? I'm sure it's kind of an ongoing thing uh, for everyone, right? No, to a certain extent. I don't, I don't want to speak for everybody, but... <laughs> Um, every team that I've been on, yeah. Um, and it's not necessarily an issue of selfishness. And I think it's sometimes guys just trying to make something happen. Now you get in, get in trouble a little bit by playing in crowds or doing too much. Um, the intent might be to help, but it turns turns out at times to be detrimental. Um, I think also showing clips where, you know, you do the right thing and you just don't make the shot. That's okay too. Let's not get bored with trying to do the right thing possession after possession. Um, Keep that as a habit. I think in the end, it pays off. There was a comment that Spencer made during the post game the other night with the that you had made some suggestions earlier in the year after the the first of the year that they had not well with the Ron Wilson. But has he made a significant number of suggestions about who to try to call and how would and if so, how would they? Uh, I, I didn't see the him say it. I, I saw that uh, those comments were made. I didn't see it, actually see its context. But um, yeah, I mean, I think I, I've been open from day one to um, you know suggestions you know, from our guys, the vets who've been around. Um, you know, the other part, and I don't know if that was directed at staff or teammates, or who, I'm not sure who that was poignant to. But I think it's great. I think the more communication we can have. Uh, they can have amongst themselves. Um, and just because, you know, an opinion is made, you know, you have to be evaluated. It has to be evaluated. You know, is this good for him? Is this good for the group? That doesn't mean it's unwelcomed. It's just more is, does it fit what we're trying to do? Um, and if it is, it's good for us. We'll try to implement it. And to be clear from the context, you guys have seen how much he actually is the leader. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, to follow up on what he's referring to, to the media. I'm not sure, <laughs> but uh, to your point, though, I, I, I think he, uh, as well as all our guys, you know, I, I think that's it's great um, to have feedback, to have input and be vested in what we're trying to do. Um, you know, that they're out there doing it and living it. If they, if they feel like there's a better way, let's communicate that. And, you know, if it, if it fits what we're, you know, trying to accomplish, then yeah, by all means, let's give it a try. Some of your, your least experienced players, I'm thinking of your Corey and Dennis, mm -hmm. sort of all the games played in terms of their their uh, split second decision making. Yeah, I think it's both have gotten better. Um, you know, I think that's just feeling the flow of the game, reading and getting more comfortable with the speed of it. Um, I think Corey's um, probably a, a slight step ahead of Denny in that area, but uh, he's done a great job with, with moving, cutting. Um, yeah, he, he doesn't try to overdo it and dribble in crowds, but playing off the bounce, he's shown improvement in that area, finishing through traffic um, at the rim um, and just understand the spacing up. I think that's it's a big key for both those guys. What do you think of the tone of practice today? I see that yourself. I just had one little rep and I'm in a full sweat. <laughs> no, it does get, it's good. You know, I, we have to find ways to keep guys engaged and, teach and, and hold guys accountable but you know we also have to bring back a little joy and you know you, you win games of course everyone's happy when you're struggling at, at times you have to lighten the mood um so just trying different things to get guys keep them engaged but also um, bring a little bit more life back to uh the gym you saw brad here today he was yeah all right coach let's transition over to zoom and we'll start with a question from matthew 
Hey Wes, just following up on um, Spencer, if he does feel like it, it, the feedback that he's giving is among the players that is it welcome, do you worry about like a, a rift in the locker room or anything like that? No, not necessarily. Um, you know, I think, you know, I don't, once again, I don't know the context, but, you know, I, I think it's, someone has an opinion, it, it can be shared it, depending on what it is or, or, or how it's delivered. You know, I, I can't really police that. Um, you know, I think we have a great group of, of, of guys that uh, they get along, you know, and, and whether that works on the floor, they want to hang out off the court. I, I, you can't force that. You know, obviously we try to do things to kind of encourage um, that connectivity, but, you know, I think it's some, some of it takes time. Great, thanks. Neil? Hey, Coach. Apologies if I didn't hear. Uh, did Brad get any kind of X-ray, MRI, or is any of that planned? Uh, he, he, I don't know which test he's already received. I know he's had some, um, and he plans to be further evaluated. Um, but I can't really get specifics. I don't know, honestly. Do you know if it was something where, you know, after the game or during the game, he was able to kind of just play through it, adrenaline and all that kind of stuff, and, you know, maybe afterwards it swelled yeah, up? He, he, was getting looked, he was getting looked at during the timeouts, and, you know, they were doing something to try to keep it loose. Uh, obviously, he was able to finish the game. Um, so I didn't think it was a huge issue. Um, they felt the need to you know, further evaluate it. And he, he's had some discomfort in that area. So I think it's prudent to, you know, get ahead of it and get a look at it. And we hopefully it's, it's nothing major, just a couple days, and he'll be back in the fold. Thanks, Coach. Matthew, do you have another question? Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> you're fine. We'll go over to Christos. Hey, Coach, how are you today? Uh, Coach uh, Spencer mentioned the accountability as uh, the biggest needed shakeup of, of, for you guys. What did you say about the accountability of this team so far in the season? No, I mean, I'm, I'm glad he brought that up. Um, you know, it's something that, you know, it, we can police it. I, mean, I think that's easy to do, but you don't want to get to the point where, um, you know, every mistake is over-evaluated. Um, and you have a rotating lineup where it's just every mistake, all right, come sit down. I think the, the more accountability the, uh, the group can take amongst themselves, um, you know, to, pol to police themselves, whether it's coverage, whether it's, you know, something that's schematic, um, you know, organize themselves offensively. I think that's great. Take more ownership of it, you know, and I think that's it's a good sign to see that um, it's at least being addressed. But now let's see the carryover. And it doesn't have to be one guy. Um, at this point, I think everyone should be on the same page as far as understanding what, what their responsibilities are in those situations. And, you know, when it's not right, we should be okay with correcting it. Uh, shouldn't always have to come from the, from, from the staff or from myself. Um, but I think it's important that they take ownership of it. And also ahead of uh, those two games against the Bucks and the Sixers back-to-back -back games, how could you describe the mood in the team during the practice ahead of those two games? Uh, you know what? I, I can't really tell you exactly how guys are feeling. I can tell you how they, they've acted. It, it, I think it was a good practice. They were lighthearted. They were into it. Um, so I, th I think it's, they're, they're in a good place. Uh, obviously, no one knows exactly until the games start. And we see how things go. But, um, you know, it's a challenge for sure. You know, we're down, you know, arguably our best player. And we've been here before. And how do you respond? I think each, each and every man will step up and do a little bit more. But. Um, we have to do that together. And that, that connectivity has to be there for us, uh, especially on the road. Uh, it's not just, uh, you know, the other night, but two really good teams. And, you know, then you come home and, and you have two, two more good teams. So uh, the, the hits keep coming. But uh, we didn't plan the schedule. We just have to worry about the next game in front of us and try to attack that with the most, as much purpose as we can. Thank you very much, Coach. We'll finish up with Wayne. Hey, Coach, how you doing? Um, just first, in the last game, you had got your first career attack. Just want to know, were you surprised um, that it was called? No, I was not. And uh, lastly, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I was, uh, honestly, I was trying to get one to get our team going. <laughs> and, and with that, do you, sometimes, uh, I wanted to ask you that before, that can kind of, you know, rejuvenate the squad, uh, get them excited, get them pumped up. Just... What, and I, I asked you earlier with, you know, just the crowd, what, what was it that Memphis were doing at that time that, you know, just had frustrated you? Oh, I was frustrated with a non-call, um, you know, and it precipitated by a 
previous call that was very similar in nature. Um, and I just let my opinion, I shared my opinion um, mm -hmm. and with a choice word. So I, I had it coming, but uh, you know, I, I knew it and I went right back to the official. I said, I deserve that one, but I'm trying to get my team going. So it was, sometimes you got to do that or try it, see if uh, you know, it works and guys respond. And lastly, coach, you kind of touched on it briefly during this press conference. Uh, you've been down this road before where you have to kind of rely on resiliency and it's going to take everyone. Is that encouraging knowing that you've had games where the team has been down a few players and you've responded to the challenge? Yeah, to a certain extent. You know, you, you, you never want to go uh, into a game without your best player, but, you know, it is what it is. We can't control that right now. So th these are the cards we're dealt, and, you know, I think we'll respond and deal with it. Thank you, Coach. All right, Coach, looks like Chris Miller uh, put his hand up. We'll get to him. Uh, Wes, I just want to know, is Mike Williams picking up the tab for the tech? <laughs> you should ask Mike. He owes me one. <laughs> I'll, I'll get back to you on that one. I was just wondering if, if Mikey was going to. Uh, <laughs> it's only fair. He should, shouldn't he? It's only fair. Thanks. I think we can do much better. I mean, um, we were good at the beginning. I think we, we did a great job. Uh, we kind of lost, lost focus towards the, the game, uh, got progressed. And I feel like we just need to keep our head in the game. Uh, Steven got us on the offensive board. That was that, that was a big part of, of them, uh, their winning. Um, just following, follow, following the scouting point, following the coaches' decisions, and just st staying, staying focused towards four, four quarters. So. Wait, uh, can you uh, there's on the screen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember last year when things were tough, you were like probably more confident than any player here. I look around this locker room, you have good players, I know you're good players. What, what do you look at about this team to, to keep them close? Like, you know, uh, yes, of course. I'm, I'm always believing in our team, yeah, even though we had ups and downs toward, towards all season. We've been there. We've been in like bad situations. We've been in great situations. I've seen our team in those great situations and what we can be and how can we play. That makes me believe. Like We were number one in the East like in the beginning of the year, so we played great. Like teams really, really, really had a hard time playing us, and and I think it's in us. The fire, the all of this, it's it's in us, and it's it's waiting to, it's waiting to get out. So it's just a matter of time. We just we just we just need to um, be right in our heads, and everybody needs to do his, his job, and like it's, it's about it. How does everything with Jay Wright fit in? First of all, uh, I'm a big believer in like uh, getting getting an extra work or or like watching more film or like see stuff in the game that you did wrong and and how can you help the teammate? How can you help your teammates? How can you be better in in defense? How can like everybody play together? Or if I had an extra pass and I missed it, or you know the movements of the players, like really understand each other and understand how to play with each other. Uh, that's a big part of it. And um, yeah, other than that, just like be mentally strong. I mean, NBA is a long, long season, and and it's not easy. Like sometimes you're you're playing good, but sometimes like you can't find the rhythm. But if you head in the right place and like you believe in your teammates and you believe in your team, like I think great. Great things are waiting to happen. So, uh, what did you say? Defense. I think defense was a big part of our game and why we were successful in the beginning of the year. Uh, how we defended Giannis, um, the energy we had offensively, defensively, we, we, we held him accountable and we, we did a great job in that game. Um, it's a big challenge. It's a good, good, good team, great players. Um, trying to get out there and do the same stuff. Just watch the film from the other, the other game and, and try to copy that.
good crowd out. Yeah. I enjoy taking this role because I can help the team. Like I, I can organize the team. I can take pressure off Brad, take take pressure out of Spencer, and, and make him like breathe a little bit and 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 play more uh, play more free, freely. It's something I, I can do. Um, and if it helps my team, and I'm doing I'm doing a good job at it, so so why not? I'm I'm ready. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I needed to have. Uh, uh, I feel like it's more. I'm like handling the ball and bringing it up the court. The the better it becomes, the more comfortable it becomes. Like I can now see the offense. Like in the beginning, like I was looking at the defender just not to steal the ball, but now like I look on all the court. I see where everybody's look like standing. So it, it, it became easier with the Tanya with reps. What have you guys learned about playing without Brad? Yeah. Uh, first of all, Brad is a big asset of the team. Like he's a big piece. So you know, when when he's out, like everybody needs to find their rhythm. Like like do maybe a bigger role that they should. Like uh, play harder. And um, yeah, he's gonna be missed. Hopefully, you know, he'll get back as soon as possible. Um, but we everybody now needs to step it up. We need to step it up. Um, keep sharing the ball. Keep moving the ball. Um, else much all right denny we'll go to zoom for a couple questions christos hey denny how are you today how you doing? i'm fine thank you denny how ahead of those two games against the bucks and the sixers how could you describe the mood in the team the, and how intensity intensity was uh, the practice today can, can you turn the volume off please it's all the way Down there. Can you go again? Yeah, yeah. You hear me now? Yes. Okay. How could you describe the mood in the team ahead of those two games against the Bucks and the Sixers? And how big was the intensity in the practice today? I think every practice we have a great intensity. I mean, we we did we're not uh, doing something special from Milwaukee. I think uh, we we had a great game versus them last time. So we're probably going to watch, watch a lot of film uh, of that. Um, just practice regular, uh, go on a scouting report, like know the players, know what they do, and uh, just play hard in the end of the day. Like, you know, all the scouting and all the stuff around it, in, in the end of the day, is just going on the court, playing hard, doing doing what the coach tells us to do, and, and that's it. And in the, the last five game stretch for you guys, if you could pick one thing that you would like to improve to make better in the next back-to-back -back games, what would you like to pick about your team on both ends of the floor? I feel like the communication on defense and I'm going to say communication on defense and the pace on offense. But those are the uh, two main things that I think uh, we can be better and really help us uh, look better on the court.